Some unique dogs change color after their haircut. This is Kylie, and she's a 13-year-old Megamutt. A Megamutt is my term that refers to a breed of dog that is mixed with several different unknown breeds. This is Kylie's first appointment with me, and I can tell by looking at her that she's going to have a difficult coat to work with. Keep watching for her dramatic before and after. I am bathing Kylie today in our English Garden Scented Shampoo by Groomer's Choice. After this old girl's bath, I rinse her down completely, and then of course, she shakes herself off for me. I give her a good towel dry, making sure to get all of the excess water off, and then I spray her down in our Speed Dry Spray by Show Season, and I brush that through her coat. I get her all set up in her happy hoodie, and then I blow dry her with the high velocity dryer. The owners have asked that Kylie be short, but not shaved down to the skin. Normally, I would be shaving with the growth of the hair and not against it. In this case, Kylie has very different fur, and if I shave with the growth of the hair, I will cause lines in her haircut. So instead, using my wall KM10 clipper with my 5 8 inch comb attachment, I'm shaving against the growth of her hair. Since her undercoat is a completely different color than her top coat, she's going to be a different colored dog by the end of her groom. In my opinion, a dog with a coat like Kylie's should be hand stripped. But since she's been getting shaved her entire life, her coat has been damaged, so hand stripping is not an option. Now I am using my foreblade to go over all of her legs and blend them into her body. I also use my foreblade to shave up her belly, and then I switch over to my three and three quarter skip tooth blade. I use this blade to blend in any lines that may have been left behind by my comb attachment. And of course, no groom would be complete without a Brazilian shave. I'm shaving the top of her head down into a funky mohawk. And then using my chunkers, I blend. And I blend some more. And I blend some more. And then I clip her nails, but her quicks are quite long, so I can only take the tips off. Using my 30 blade, I shave out her paw pads. And then using my straight shears, I tidy up her very fluffy paws. and then I round up her ears to give her more of a puppy look. I tidy up her eyes, her eyebrows, and her beard. And then of course, I do more blending using my thinning shears. I spray her down in our Sweet Petals Cologne by iGroom, and I complete her look with a red mohawk. This is pet safe, washable hair color, and happy Canada Day to all my fellow Canadians, eh?